45 seconds, here we go. This episode, we interviewed Lauren Taylor. Um, she's a seamstress and a tailor here in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, her last name is Taylor, and she is very upfront that her last name is Taylor, and it's not just Lauren Taylor because she's a tailor. Um, her Instagram is Ladybird with two L's. Um, we painted over some clowns, uh, painted an ice cream cone, a chicken, and then uh, portrait showed up. Um, had a great time. Did a lot of laughing. Um, felt really alive. It's good. Uh, we also have a uh, eight seconds left. We also have a Patreon, one tier, five bucks. If you'd like to subscribe to that, we would love it, and we'll send you the cut content from other episodes. Peace. Do you use the word yeet? Do I use the word meat? Yeet. Yeet. Yeah. You know, every time I love hear it, it, I think I should use that word, and then I don't think about it until someone mentions it. So no, but I want to. Okay. Oh, this this chili is totally yeet. Saucy bitch. Saucy. That's the word we don't say on this. Well, I already so. ruined it. You're gonna have to bleep me out. Ooh, this one is pretty. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why I, is there I, no lid I don't on know it? what. Well, I'm Ryan Rado. Yeah. Look that's, at how beautiful that hey, is. Hey, now see this. Is not perfect. Now I gotta fucking pay rent here because Lauren Taylor messed it all up. Oh no, it's fine. Paint comes off the floor really easily. How do you feel that it's on there where you're just like, oh fuck? Well, I kind of like it. It's kind of got like an 80s, like, Dude. I kind of want to go with 80s colors now. Do it. It's like your jacket. changed my direction. Yeah. That's cool. I'm into it. I'm, I'm going to yeah. do some nails, oh, nail salon art. You burn that sage? Hey, this is Make It Perfect, and I'm Ryan Rado. This is Lauren Taylor. She's a badass. Hi. And we are going to paint and talk about a bunch of stuff. So you better be ready and stay ready. Make sure you go to the bathroom before you continue. Do you know? Do your coffee enema, what else ever you're trying to do. And we're going to be over here riffing. So Lauren. Yes. We've known each other a long time. It's true. We How have. long? Probably since I was like uh -oh. 15 or 16. Yeah, and how did you introduce yourself to people? Oh, I told them that my name was Jailbait because that was my nickname at the time. <laughs> Bailjate. Bailjate. Oh, God. You know, that would have been cool. Bailjate? Yeah. I know some Bailjates. Isn't um, that an Indian name, Baljeet? <laughs> Baljeet. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I laughed and then I was like, oh, camera. Yes, very nice. I laughed um, and I <clears throat> So... Tell everybody what you do as if they already don't know. There's a lot of people who don't know it. Okay, what I do. okay. What is it? Um, I am a professional tailor. Yes. And my last name is Taylor, which Boom. I don't want anybody to not realize. Um, just... So I normally, when there's not a coronavirus, oh, yeah. I travel around the US and Canada and I teach workshops on how to sew. I teach people how to make jeans. Did like, you make those jeans? I did. <laughs> That's badass. Yeah, and what the hell? I think I put it. Get it going. The tag. Oh, it's right here. Get it going. It says you can't buy this. That's legit. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. Great, very, huh? very cool. You can't buy it. Because you can't, because I made them. Um, so normally <laughs> I travel around and I teach a workshop, teach mm -hmm. people how to make jeans, and it's really awesome. Um, obviously, that has not happened much this year. Uh, Basically, stopped as of March. When, oh, so that was like the last one you did. In, yeah, in I did. I had two in January, uh -huh. one in February, one in March, and then I was getting ready to go to Berkeley to teach my last one in March. I know I got upgraded to first class and everything, and then like two <laughs> days before the workshop, they called me and they were like, "Sorry, uh. we're just we're we we're thinking this coronavirus thing. Like, we think we need to shut down. They put the whole they Shit. put the whole um, Bay Area shut down mm -hmm. like two hours later, and then we went into lockdown like three days later." <laughs> What's your cat's name? Amelia Earhart. Perfect. Yeah, so when I'm not doing mm -hmm. that, I also... <clears throat> party? Party. Okay. I also um, do sewing for like photo shoots mm. and music videos. Safe uh, to say you're killing tour it. Tour looks. Say what? Safe to say you're killing it. I'm killing it. I love yeah, it. I yeah. Love that. I'm doing I love pretty that. good. That's cool. And I just recently got a um, 
part-time job working for a tailor. Who is that? Here in Nashville. Well, it's actually a high-end clothing store mm -hmm. that has like an in-house tailor. So awesome. They, you buy like a $5,000 suit and they tailor it for free. You tailor Because it. you spent $5,000. Yeah. So I'm working with this badass tailor. Like she's been doing it longer than I've been alive. Sick. I met her on set with something that I was doing during like COVID. Uh-huh. And she offered me part-time work. God, it's badass. It's awesome. I'm learning so much. Oh, I was going to ask you. That That's I've cool. Ne that, like, I didn't even know it was physically possible. Cool. I wish I could tell you some of the stuff, but you don't sew, so it won't make any sense. Just try. To you. Let's hear it. But like, okay. So for example, you know how button-down shirt has a cuff, yeah, and it has the the sleeve placket, mm -hmm. so you can roll your sleeves placket. up. Placket. It's called a placket. Awesome. So in the past, when yes. I've shortened sleeves of button-down shirts, mm -hmm. I would just tell my client, you know, I can shorten this, but you're going to eventually lose your placket the shorter we go. Because we mm -hmm. cut that, mm -hmm. you move mm -hmm. the cuff up, and then eventually you have a placket like this long. Yep. I don't know why this never occurred to me. You can take the whole placket out, take the cuff off, cut it, cut a new slit, sew the fucking placket back in, sew the cuff back on, and it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's been changed at all, except it's the right length. What did you think that when you figured that out from her? It blew my mind. I was like, like wait, and then I thought about it and I was like, well, no, no shit, of course that would make sense because it's a slit that has like fabric found around it, but it just never, it would never occurred to me. So she's teaching me all kinds of things like that. There are That's things cool. that I didn't even know were like physically possible. And she's like, oh yeah, you can do that. Just like nothing. Yeah. She's been doing it for so yeah. long. And What's so her, name? her name's Loretta. Hi, Loretta. Yeah. Love her she's already. She's amazing. Yeah. She's cool. <laughs> I'm just painting over these dudes here. I don't know. I'm just putting some some vibes over yeah, here. Yeah, vibe it out. Yeah. Ooh, those are good colors, Lauren. I know. I'm kind of going for a '80s nail salon. Into it. Into yeah. it. Yeah. That art. So, <clears throat> you you mentioned before we were rolling that your dad passed four years ago, and that you went to Florida. Was it Florida? You said to have the the. Um, I guess the trip, the medical kind of trip with a uh, shaman? Yeah, yeah. So that was in Florida. Like that. I've also done it in Peru. What? But yeah, it was the Amazon rainforest. Badass. Yeah. So it went down, <clears throat> did it twice mm -hmm. over the course of like three days. Since, since that first experience, mm -hmm. you know, my dad died. Yeah, and yeah. that my dad died in 2017. Okay. And I did my that ayahuasca experience at the end of 2019. So it was about two years in between. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I even realized how depressed I was uh, until no. I was off of it. Oh, wow. Like after the fact, looking back, it's like, holy shit. Wow. It was just some really, really profound stuff. Um, what kind of stuff came up during the, during the experience? For you? <sighs> stuff that you were like, you were like, didn't know that was there. You know, a lot of the stuff that it kept mm -hmm. telling me was that, that I don't know how this is going to even sound profound to anyone, okay. but that it's not my job to fix people. Yeah, that's right. And great. that I don't need to yeah. try. Excellent. Um, it, the, huh. In terms of like how it. Here, let me fix that for you. Brought my dad to me. It was more of just like a loving energy than anything. It's cool. not like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to articulate it yeah. into words, but yeah. I'll say this. Let's talk I, about a feeling. Where was the, where's the feeling at for it? So. Do you remember maybe the last age you were before mm. you became like a real adult with like real 17. stresses? Yes. Yes. Okay, it was 17 yes. for yes. me too. Excellent. It's like the very end of like you at your purest, yes. I guess would be the yep. way to put That's it. Great. I feel like I'm that person again. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I've been I'm 35 to now, just just yeah. to put that into a reference. So yes. I remember, I, I feel like I just put paint on my face. I distinctly remember mm. being like 16, 17 and like, you know, the world was, there for me and I could do anything mm -hmm. and like I, nobody had ever really fucked me over. I so never, there were, like, wasn't like limiting beliefs at that point. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then listening I, to you, listening. And then I came out of this like the second the second time that I drank the tea in Florida was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Why is that? Uh, well, I watched myself oh. die three times. Yeah, so oh, man, yeah. That's righteous. <laughs> but yeah. I remember um, like at one point mm -hmm. I was trying to like get all comfy in my bed mm -hmm. and the medicine is telling me it's like get up and I'm like no but I'm comfortable it's like get up I'm like mm -mm. Get the fuck. it's like get the fuck up and so we're I'm, I'm arguing with it and oh then yeah and then it's like no you really need to get up and I wouldn't get up so it made me throw up all over myself which like doesn't really sound that awful no I'm so 
I thought the world had ended. Yo, yo. You know, like I was, I was tripping so hard. I could see the fractals that make up the universe. Yeah, that's so good. And I like, and <gasps> when you when you throw up on that stuff, it's like black bile. It's, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's from a purge. Deep. Yeah, it's like oh, from wow. deep within. So it was like horrible, and I was like, I've ruined everything. I'm dying. Everything's over. And then it was like too intense, and everything was uh -huh. all crazy. And I like disappeared off the planet for however long, and. But like after it happened and mm -hmm. I remember thinking like this is the worst thing that could ever happen. Mm -hmm. Then I sat and thought about it and I was like, wait, but, but that was it. Ah, that, that, that's it. It's like a threshold of fear. And yeah, then you're and then you're it. like, wow. what else am I afraid of? Sure, yeah. So it just became, and I, I don't wow. know if this is gonna make any sense to no, anyone who hears this. I'm glad you're saying it. For me, it was a very like, what, what are you scared of that you, you don't even know how scary it is? Mm. And who was telling you to get up in your, in your psyche? Who was that? Literally the ayahuasca was telling me to get up. It that, was like, get okay. up. Okay. Okay. So, so if you could embody the ayahuasca into a personality, who would that be? Just be, it would be like the inner, the inner you who like makes you get out of bed in the morning. So like you your soul, you work. Yeah. like it, an other that you don't quite know and never will know, but yeah. you know is there. It's like your own subconscious, awesome. but it's the one that directs you around and tells you, you know. That's 90% of everything we do. God, damn. <laughs> right? that's incredible. Subconscious. So it was, yeah, it was, and it's, I feel like so that, cool. <laughs> that like lack of fear has kind of guided me through this year awesome. in a lot of ways. Because what a year I, to have it guide you yeah, through. Yeah, <laughs> I think about it a lot. Yeah. I get scared. It's not like when, sure. when Loretta offered me the job at the tailor shop and she was oh, like, hey, you oh, want a part-time job? And I thought, oh. I mean, I do, but I don't know how to do all that stuff. And then I thought, well, what the fuck are you afraid of? Yes, like, what's uh, the worst that can happen? Yeah. So for me, the whole year has been try it and see what happens. Yeah, I love it. So that's, that's just been a lot of, it's been a lot of that. Cool. Um, I felt like, I don't know, I felt like the last like 10, 15 years of my life were just really sad and painful. Why? And then it just kind of, you know, you spend your 20s, you had that first like relationship that mm -hmm. fails, you have that friend that screws you over. God, betrayal. Or you yeah. get into like, I don't know, I had a lot of debt at one point. Got it. Yeah, um, totally, totally. Yeah, my dad died. Like yeah, you just, you're, that's a lot. I watched my family kind of dissolve when the, my dad wasn't there to hold them together anymore. It's just, yeah. you know, it's a lot yeah. of, I can't even think of all. Think of all the things that have gone through your yeah, 20s. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And at the very end of that whole experience, I feel like I just watched it all wash away. Good. I feel like I'm going, I have to go fast for some reason. Like Because I talk fast? No, no, my own, my own sense of anxiety. But anxiety is how I know I'm alive. Oh, yeah. But uh, I, I'm interested in doing that, um, that uh, ayahuasca thing. But <clears throat> I just had a... I'm a new dad, and I just had a, uh, I, I would be so, well, maybe this is the point. I would be so afraid to be doing something like that with him far away from me. Yeah. So I, I don't, but, I, but I'm not necessarily sure that's the worst thing. It might bring up the fear that I'm unwilling to face. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But should I consciously walk into some shit like that? I don't know. Because I love that guy. I love you, Harrison. You're, man. Anyway, he's cute as hell. I feel like it's just one of those things when you feel like you're, when mm -hmm. you feel like you need to do it, you'll go do there it. it. Is. And, if, totally. and if it's just a curiosity in the back of your brain, mm -hmm. then it's, then you probably don't need it. Like Copy. your body totally. kind of, or your psyche or It'll however show you want to think of it. I mean, they were, I kept telling us, you know, the medicine will call you when it's ready for you. And maybe that's a little woo woo for I'm me, into woo -woo. but like, yeah. I am really into woo woo. <laughs> but it's also like your, your, your body kind of tells you your cool. psyche, your that back you need of your it. mate, back of your mind. I love it. I'm happy you did that. I'm happy you had it. such a good experience. Me too. Yeah, I can I can really like I, you probably don't notice a difference because I feel like the last time we've really really talked was like 20 years ago. So you remember like yeah. 17 year old Lord. Lord. Good but Lord. I am a completely different person than cool. I was like three years ago. That's a blessing to hear. Yeah. Man, how else do you feel like you've changed? Do you feel let, let's let's get on that like 
What are things that are easier now for you than weren't even three years ago? I'm so much more empathetic. Awesome. awesome. I had no empathy for a really long time. Who says that? That's beautiful. I worked at, I like to the point, I worked in a call center and yeah. they regularly had to coach me on having empathy for the customers. <laughs> and I'd just be like, she can't, she doesn't pay her fucking bills. <laughs> I don't have empathy for her. Roof. And just, you know, well, you know, being a shitty 20 year old or yeah, however yeah, yeah, old yeah. I was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I, I, I looked at this in my studio this morning and I've always liked it, this painting or this print. I um, love that painting. But I think I associated myself to being a clown a lot to try to make people feel better when I wasn't feeling good. So mm. this is kind of symbolic that I'm actually changing this and however cheesy and woo woo that is, I don't give a shit, but it's kind of my own ayahuasca trip right now. You know what I mean? I like that. And, Thanks. and Thanks. well, I don't know, but yeah. hopefully you won't throw up. Ah, ha, hell yeah. <laughs> that could do you be. Like, do you like throwing up? Does anyone like yeah. throwing up? Yeah. Uh, well, here, let me ask that a different way. Do you, when you throw, because you don't throw up, I mean, people don't throw up all the time. So let me do. start with my own experience. So okay. years ago, well, a couple years ago, I think I got food poisoning from a Mexican restaurant down in Colombia. Ponchos. Fuck you. Anyway. So, fuck ponchos. fuck ponchos and fuck Columbia. Anyway, <laughs> Luke, you live there. I used to live there. Anyway, maybe we'll edit that out. Maybe we won't. So I woke up middle of the night and I was like, oh, here we go. So I went in the bathroom and where it was, the toilet was here. The door was here. Toilet was here. Then you had the tub and it didn't have like a encasing on it. It had a, just a Shower? Curtain, yeah, thank you. Yeah, like my bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. So I was like, okay, okay. You know, your mouth starts to get hot and you're like, it's all kind of pushing in on you. So I was like, okay, I can either choose to hate this or I can experiment with it. So I was like, I go, okay, puking. So when I started puking, my first thought was observe how you feel and how it looks to see you puking into this tub. So I was as I was puking, I was like, this is fucking beautiful. Like I was, I don't know. I like. So you were like meditating. Kinda, oh, yeah. That sounds like <laughs> a meditation. Yeah. I don't know, it's crazy. I mean, the puking sucked, but I was like, what is the feeling of puking? Because it doesn't happen all the time and I want to pay attention to it. Anyway. Yeah, no, there's no. that. <laughs> no, I, I like yeah. that. That's, that's cool. really beautiful. Oh, thanks Lauren. Thanks, I will thank say, you. I don't like puking, Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Um, on, a, on, on something like ayahuasca, you have to think of it like, mm -hmm. like have you ever been super, super, super drunk and you knew if you threw up, you'd feel better yeah. and it feels so good to throw up yes. and you immediately feel that relief. That's, that's what that oh. was like. It feels like, to me, it felt like there was something on a string that was being pulled out. Oh, Like it was okay. like just gliding out and like it felt good to release it. Wow. I swear I saw demons come out. Of, like, oh, that's incredible, probably. Crazy. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. Like, but it's like you're just, purging something yeah. deep set that needs oh, that's that needs incredible. to come out. And you don't always puke when you do it. Sure. Like I, there are a few times I didn't throw up at all. Let's talk about your about what you think about the process of creativity for your own in your own experience. Oh, for me I just yeah. think the whole like the whole act of just doing it and learning it is so cool and it's so much fun. Mm. And I mm. think there's something really really beautiful and humbling yeah. about being a beginner yeah. in something. Yeah, for sure. And it, it's empowering too. It's really empowering. And it's kind of, it's, it's hard for me when I, cause I interact with a lot of people who are in the same like creative side of things as I mm -hmm. am, whether mm -hmm. it's in my classes or like online or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I feel like I was in an advantage where I learned how to do all this stuff mm -hmm. before the internet was what it is today. Ah, yeah. So like the internet existed in the nineties, but we weren't posting on forums. Straight we up. weren't putting yeah. photos up on forums. Yeah. Um, so all of nice. my stuff in my practice and my sewing and when I was, I painted a lot in high school yep, and yep. I played piano and I did all kinds of like artistic stuff, mm -hmm. that was for me. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to share it with someone, I would, but it wasn't like I was putting it on a platform for thousands of people to look at. Mm -hmm. And so with that in mind, nobody saw my creative process from the beginning. Cool. Nobody saw my learning process. Nobody saw the mistakes I made. But nobody also critiqued them, mm -hmm. and everything I did, as far as I was concerned, was fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, fucking totally, amazing. Totally, yeah. It's like a very like childlike way mm -hmm. to look at it. Um, That's probably your right. yeah. Anyway, and I, I wish like, I had more of that. I feel like creative people today who are learning are at a, a disadvantage because they 
all they see is the Compare end result it. of someone yeah, who's been doing sure. it for 20 or 30 years, yeah. and they're just like, well, I'm not that good. And it's yeah. like, you did not see the first 10 Shit. years that I've been doing this. Straight up. So, man. It's it's that's that's a little hard for me. What do you do when you when you get like ultra frustrated that you that the creativity is kind of in a maybe in a depressive state for you? Do you ever experience that? Oh, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Creativity is uh, I can't think of a comparison. It's that's something okay. that ebbs and flows, like a yeah. river or sure. whatever mm-hmm. gust of air out of the Man. heat yeah, vent. I, I get uh, <laughs> every time I'm I go to start, I avoid it and I just kind of dance around stuff, but in almost every time the process is around the same, I'll start working and I'll just fuck around and it's not happening like out of thin air and then I just get down on myself, you know? Yeah. So then it's like, I'll just leave it alone. I'll be like, well, at least something got started. And then I'll come back the next day or whatever and I'll work on the same thing and, and maybe start something new. and. And I don't know why I have this thought of like, I should just be able to bust something out so fast and it's gonna be fucking sweet. Yep. I think, you know, but, but I, I'm giving myself more time to look at the work I'm doing rather than just rush through it. So, but in the middle of that, and, and I'll tell you what, like, I'll tell you what. Tell me what. <laughs> like in the, um, um, like before I, I approach my work, like weeks before I'll just get so depressed out of my mind and I'm like crunching on something psychologically and trying to work out a problem and then as I start painting I'm like oh now I'm working out this problem and then all of a sudden it just flows it's really cool and it but it sucks when I'm in that creative depression because it's like when you get done with your work you're on a creative high and if you're if you're flowing but it's almost like that valley is a time where you seeds are being planted to have that energy. I don't know. It's crazy. No, I totally get that. I, I go through that pretty frequently mm-hmm. myself and it mm-hmm. can be, it can be really hard because from one artist to another, mm-hmm. your, your creativity is how you support yourself. Yeah. And it's also a huge part of your identity. Straight up. So when you're not feeling like doing whatever you normally no do, one. yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I have I become? No fucking purpose. So <laughs> for me, it's one nice way to do it is mm-hmm. I, and I don't know if this would even yeah, work yeah, for you, please. but like yeah. as a seamstress, Mm-hmm. If I don't feel like, you know, making, I don't know, like a fancy coat or something, yeah. I've got alterations that I can work on or I cool. can go in and work on something for 20 minutes or I, like the, just a little bit. And after 20 minutes, if I don't feel like doing it anymore, I put it back on the table. I leave the room and I close Love the it. door. Jerry's Art in East Nashville has what you need for your art look either side. Um, they just had their grand reopening um, yesterday. Got rocked by the tornado. And um, so you should come in here and get what you need to get. Um, I got paint. I got everything. Love being in here. You know what I'm talking about? This pumped. Um, Jerry's Art Main Street, East Nashville. Have you ever ridden four wheelers or anything? Have I ever ridden a four wheeler? <laughs> yeah. No, question. what kind of woman do I look like? A badass one? <laughs> Who plays scales on the piano. Yeah. But also throws up all over herself. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Four Wait, wheelers. so did you or not? You have not? Have I not ridden a four wheeler? Yeah. I rode a go kart. Is that the same thing? Go kart, no. not the same thing. I mean, no. not real. Then no, I have not ridden a four wheeler. I don't know where did that come. But from? I feel like this is something we're going to have to do now. It's fun. <laughs> Just smash cut to us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna crush in it out in Lawrenceburg. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll wear my yeehaw belt. There you go. You got a yeehaw belt? Of course I do. Yeehaw or yeehaw? Yeehaw. Okay, cool. 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 I think see, I'm just, like I'm you. dancing around. I'm clowning on these damn clowns, man. I want to know if you're going to change Joey's name. 
Oh, well, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Make it say Lauren. <laughs> Hopping. He died. Oh, you can, can still see it, it though. His soul lives on. His soul he's eternal. <laughs> he is eternal. <laughs> Three, oh, almost four months. Wait, what? Is, uh, four months and five days. Four months and five days. He's cute. Days. God, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want him. But now you do. I, I do. Like I. 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 The whole time. I. I. I, I was not about it. And there's a, the circumstance surrounding um, the pregnancy. It was really tough. But I. Um, I remember at one point I was. I was. <laughs> praying to him, wherever he was at the time, his soul, his eternal existence. And I said, I want you, I, I, I'm, man, I can't remember how I did it. Like, I just tried to access the part of me that could be him as well. So I was like, I want you to know that I don't want you to come here. And I, the circumstance is something that isn't ideal by any means. And I would choose that you don't come here. And I said, but should you choose to come here, I will do the absolute best I can at teaching you about this world and being the best dad I can be. And that's all. It was crazy. You want to talk about a fucking odd feeling but I, that was me telling the truth to myself and the other inside of me and wherever I could access Harrison's soul woo woo who knows but that was some psychological work right there no I'm like totally into that shit cool cool <laughs> totally. awesome awesome when my when my dad was on life support um, I love that. I know, it's and so I cool. love the. I lo it reminds me of your hair. Like I love oh, how thank you, you waved it. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Go ahead. Uh, when my dad was on, my dad was on life support at one mm -hmm. point, and when he was on life support, we used to, God, we spent like ten days in the hospital, mm -hmm. and just waiting for something to happen. And I regularly would go in that room and talk to him without actually talking, yeah. like oh, you know, communicate yes. with him yes. without yes. speaking. Yes, which is viable. Yeah, for sure. I think so. I know and he heard me. I know he did. There you go. Like you know it in, in the deeper part of yourself that he heard you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I also know apparently he did hear things like that were being like said. Yeah. said yeah. Like uh, there was some kind of like fight uh -huh. that happened in the mm -hmm. ICU and he heard it because oh, he no asked way. about it. He was like, what about this like driving to Memphis or so? I don't uh, even remember what it was. And we were like, what? Uh, where did you go? <laughs> so yeah, that's people, awesome. on the, people on like, yeah, on life support can definitely hear you. Wow. What was it like to see him on life support the first time? Oh my God, it was awful. I, 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 I don't remember if I said this or not, but my uh -huh. dad had colon cancer. Yeah, that's right. So, that's right. Um, Listening to you. And he was, he was 50, 57 when he died. Mm -hmm. So he, and he had it for four years. So that's cool. it's just really hard to see the, you know, the strongest, and that was the strongest person in my life. Got that it. was, yep. you know, my rock and my like, it was my daddy. Yeah. I loved my dad. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. was really hard Aww. to see him be like a, a shell of a person. It was hard to see my mom suffering. My mom and him were very much still in love and still married. And yeah. still, they were each other's best friends. Wow. You know, they just did everything together. Yeah. And that that was you hope just, for that. just shitty. Yeah. Shitty to oh, see yeah. happen. And you're like, mm -hmm. so I just, there's so many shitty people that are still alive. But like, my dad died? Oh, I don't man. know. Just, yes. That's a real thought there. It's such I'm a Debbie Downer, it. but it is what it is. Ooh. It's part of it. Man. I was, um, man. sometimes I get distracted by the painting. Someone will drop something so beautiful and I'm over here painting and I don't know what to say, but I do want to say that when you said that he's my daddy and I love him like that, that was that hit a really soft spot in me and I'm glad to hear you say that yeah because you know that Harrison's gonna say as soon as sure he can. yeah yeah as soon yeah, as he's developed yeah. those vocal cords enough damn yeah Learn how to talk. Uh, tell us tell us a fun story about your dad fun story about my dad well mm. my dad told me when I was real little mm -hmm. 
that he could pick up the house, and I believed him Yeet. for a really long time. <laughs> Yeet that house. You know? <laughs> he said he was strong enough to pick the house up, and I was just like, oh, okay. You should, you should tell no, I'm not. Yeah, I'll probably do some shit Come like on, that. Come on, do it. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, other That's fun story awesome. about my dad. The very first yeah. time my dad ever cussed in front of me. Yes. Do you remember the the great cicada infestation? Yes, I of, do. Not the recent Kicking one. Them all. Oh, oh. But I the one know. when, like, let me think. I was okay. probably, like, 13 at the time. So mm -hmm. about n around 20 years ago-ish. Okay. Yep. If you remember that. That was a bad one, too. Um, I don't know if I remember that. We were on our way to church, and we were driving in my dad's truck, and mm -hmm. a cicada came and splatted into the window. And my dad goes, you know, it was the last thing to go through his mind? And we said, what? And he goes, his ass? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, dad, we're on our way to church. <laughs> that's the real like stuff. That. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm using that. Harrison's really, um, like, expressive, and he's really, like, I can't even describe it. He's just really smart. And I'm not, I, maybe I'm saying that because I'm his dad, but like in pictures, people comment like he's so attentive and there's someone in there and he's like so like, like aware. It's, it's deeper than it should be at three months, you know, whatever. So, yeah. and I love it. And when I walk in the room, I'll, Christina will be holding him and I'll come around the corner and I'll see him and I'll just look at him. Oh, hi, buddy. And he goes, Ah, like, Dad, it's the best, man. Just smiles so bright. It makes me want to be a better person. Anyway. So yes. what are you the most excited to introduce him to? Is um, like a band or a movie great. or a... You're like, oh, I cannot wait to be I'm his thinking. first experience with yeah, this. Right, right. Um, I, I, I think I want to do my best to introduce him to learning about everything on this planet and beyond. I know that's a big task. Yeah, to but to be I, curious. Yes, be, yeah. and be inquisitive and, and, and be unafraid of people, but also just be wise about what he does. That's what I want right there. I think that's, that's really I mean. sweet. Cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool, man. I, um, I don't know what the fuck. I just sometimes break him. I just got, I just got like all like all gushy talking about good, him. Thank good. You. Yeah. See, Joey's still got his name tag on. Yeah, though. he got to go. What's his name, Warren? I would told you to name him Lauren. Done. I feel like this has turned into a melting ice cream. Cup. Dude, I, I see Isn't a portrait. That cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> Dude, I love how you integrated this, which was an accident, into something. Oh no, that was the that was the basis of the painting. Right, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. Oh my God, I do see a portrait. That's cool. It's got hair like me. <laughs> well, not anymore. I cut it off, but. Bye, bye, Joey. No you ain't no damn Joey kangaroo no more. Lauren. Lauren. Is that you ain't no damn kangaroo? You ain't no damn kangaroo jump around the swing anymore. <laughs> you have this white hot dog on your chest now. It's weird. Oh, that's cool. His hands, the hands are kind of weird, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, hopping fucked it up. So I'm, this is awesome painting. Okay, I've, foreshortening is very hard to do. What is it? Foreshortening? Foreshortening. Yeah, like oh, like oh. Like do it, yeah. how much I know. That's what I was trying to, in my, in my art book that I was doing. Nice. I know, I'm telling you, it's been a year of... I want to see more of what you paint when you paint it. What was the last thing I painted? The last thing I painted was a picture of my cat. <laughs> At one of those like drink wine. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>you said you you were raised as a Christian but 18 you're out oh yeah tell us what that looked like yeah I grew up mm. in a in a pretty not as not a super super conservative household mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we were still we went to church twice a week kind of a thing um, I was homeschooled but not for religious reasons which separated us from a Surely. lot of the other yeah 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 my parents we just I grew up in Sumner County and the schools there oh terrible. right right and there were too many of us and it was too expensive to send us to private school so got it done I just the church that I grew up going to mm -hmm. was pretty awful right um you know Cornerstone Yes, yes, I yeah. do. That's where I went. The pastor. Oh yeah. He's a crazy, crazy dude. Oh my God, that man is. I don't want him to see me. 
Fuck him. I talk shit about nah, him. Fuck that that guy. man is a horrible, fuck that dude, horrible man. person. That guy sucks, man. And then I got into like reading philosophy books. Cool. And what do stuff you like to read? That. Well, this is a little embarrassing. Yep. But what kind of started me down my path of agnosticism? Mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. <laughs> this book is so embarrassing to admit. My. I had dated this really terrible person, but he <laughs> right? recommended this book to me because he was trying to get me to get out of the church, and he was yeah. like, you gotta read this. It's like, so the basis of the book is that what I pulled from it is mm -hmm. that it compares a lot of religions, mm -hmm. not just like current modern ones, but even like ancient religions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the religions of like the natives who lived here mm -hmm. before the white people came over and ruined everything. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the religions of cultures that don't exist anymore and they all have parallels mm -hmm. there's yeah, so many sure. things that are similar like yeah. a lot of them have the the birth of a birth from a virgin mm -hmm. and the three wise men or like the resurrection or the or the great flood and there's so many storylines which is just weird because in a lot of these scenarios these cultures never overlapped with each other yeah. Yeah. at all um so anyway that made me, me really think about it and i was like okay i just if anything we're all worshiping the same god but like i don't even know if i believe in a god so it got me down sure. the path but anyway the embarrassing book was fingerprints of the gods which ancient aliens really likes to reference oh because <laughs> it's like oh. an alien theory book so it's kind of that. embarrassing to that's say. okay that's okay hey it, it it opened up a different way for you it so did, nice it job. did. And yeah. also Ancient Aliens is my favorite thing to watch when I just want to make fun of something. <laughs> I like to go to the mall in Cool Springs on a Sunday when I want to make fun of something. Not Rivergate? Well, it's because of all the crisht. All, all, the, the, all the people that just got out of church. <laughs> oh. But really the shadow part of that is I just am trying to feel better about myself. You know what'll really <laughs> make you feel better about yourself? Tell me. Red Lobster in Madison on Valentine's Day. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh fuck yeah that's my favorite thing to do oh my god god the rivergate mall is i mean that was my that was my turf that was i worked at that hot topic oh. <laughs> i worked at hot topic in antioch i worked at the hot day. topic in hickory hollow too. really when yeah but probably post you i mean i only i just helped there what years did you do uh, that? that mike guy was the manager uh long hair no a really tall guy who's married to that or was dating that girl named Brittany? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He Mike. was like my age. Was he Mormon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to link him. I can't remember his last name. No, he was a Mormon. Mike Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> how about, yes, Mr. How about Hunt. Is it, was it Mr. Oxlong? Mike? I'm sorry. Okay, that took me a minute, but that was pretty good. <laughs> sorry. That dude. was pretty good. See, I'm afraid to say this stuff, but it's no, just no. You shouldn't be afraid to say it. Thank you, me. thank you, thank you. I don't yeah, judge you. Cool, thanks. I think Unless it's just you the go to internet. On Valentine's Day. I'm no, doing it. I'm kidding. doing it. That that is a chicken. I'm doing this, man. I'm getting rid of all this, and there's a point to it. There's a point to it. Are they faceless now? Nah, not so much. A little bit, but. <laughs> This is 90s as fuck. This is fucking Saved by the Bell, some shit. Oh, Who I knows, love man? it. Who knows? And then mine just, it's what you here. got, Taylor? Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, you're moving on it. I look, look at, you're not being afraid to fucking move some shit. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I don't was, want it to be static. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. It's like an ice cream cone. I'm digging it. <laughs> it is, it's a melting. You ever try to take your bite? The, uh, the fruity. Like the blue raspberry sherbet flavor. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he's, he's mad at it. He's pissed? He's, look at him. He's like, he's, he's, man. He's, he's on the path, man. He's, he's just like, yo. Fuck some shit up. In a making second. this damn ice cream like this. I'm just trying to riff. Just trying to fuck around. I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing a good job. You're doing Thank great. you, Lord. You're doing amazing, sweetie. You know what? <laughs> Thank you. You know, on the, the pink and then the uh, good idea, that's mine. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let me see. No, meaning like any, oh, that's a compliment. You're, yeah. you're doing a good job. Oh, that's what you like to hear. Yeah, I, like I see that. now. Words of affirmation. That's the that's the um, the love one of the love languages. What are yeah. yours? Do you know? I wonder what mine are. Let's talk I think about it. Mine are quality time. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I don't really care about getting gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what are the the words of affirmation? Physical touch. Yeah. Physical touch is nice. Yep. 
Time and a place, though. Sometimes I don't want sure. someone touching me. At all. <laughs> Same with quality time. <laughs> well, I'm a, I found out one of the things that I've learned about myself over the last couple of years Eat. is that I'm an introvert. And I was always told that introverts are just awkward people. Hmm. So, like, because we're doing this, mm -hmm. people would be like, well, you're not an introvert because you're, like, mm -hmm. chatting with someone on a camera and you're being outgoing. And yeah. it's like, okay, but, like, introvert just means that you need energy you get your energy by being alone. chilling yep totally yeah yep, so totally. probably well after this i'm going you're gonna be to, drained guaranteed i'm gonna be so yeah. after this actually i'm having christmas dinner with all the lady oh awesome from oak hall yeah i'm gonna give myself a steak that's I'm awesome so excited. hell yeah that'll be fun <laughs> can't wait but then Great. i'm gonna go home and i'm just gonna crash on good <laughs> that's cool <laughs> so so i've learned that like for me to be at my happiest huh? i just need that time to myself yes yeah, same 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 <laughs> Well, we've had a good time. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks, it is Rado. Over. Yeah. This and has been great. It has. Tell people where they can find me. Where they can find me. Mm -hmm. I'm only on one social media, and that's Instagram. If you find me anywhere else, it's either not me or I don't use it. Nice. Um, so my Instagram is Ladybird, which is L-L-A-D-Y-B-I-R-D. So two L's at the beginning. I also have a blog, ladybird.com, but I don't have David, so I'm going to that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, find me on Instagram. It's real fun. Actually. What else do we say? Oh, yeah. if you want to email us, it's Make It Perfect Show at Gmail. The fucking Instagram is Make It Perfect Show. Luke's email is Luke Yates Visual. No, what is it? Luke Yates V V I I at Gmail. Mine is E A T A B A G at Gmail. Have a good time. Party on, thanks again. Now I get this. I'm just gonna do LT. Oh, I got LT that's been like Lawrence Taylor, like a football player. Lauren Taylor. I'm sorry. <laughs>